We are nothing without the sun. Okay? Nothing. I don't give a fuck how powerful you are, how much money you got, how long you live. If you was more powerful than the Anunnaki, tenfold. Nobody is more important than the sun. The sun is a giver, not a taker. All right? It gives light. It gives life, it gives heat, it gives us the power we need to survive. Other than that, we ain't shit without the sun. Nothing. And the sun has never fucking disappointed us. That sun rises, okay? It does its duty. It does it's what the fuck it's supposed to do without no stipulations. Nothing. It don't matter how bad or good you are, the sun don't give a shit. The sun does what it needs to do, and the rest is on you, okay? That's the closest thing that comes to the almighty creator God, okay? There's no disputing that shit. The sun is the largest fucking star in this solar system. So whatever life there is in the solar system is because of the sun. It's because of the sun's rays, the sunlight, and the heat, okay? Life thrives as we know it on this planet because of the sun. Ain't got shit to do with who rule the planet, okay? Because they just like us, okay? Depending on the goddamn sun for some heat. If the sun decide to say, fuck it, I'm shut down, that's it. We fuck. All of us, okay? All of us. Even the ones that so-called rule over the Negro. We all fuck. Alright? So, as far as flesh beings ruling over the Negro, or trying to rule over the Negro, they're not as strong as the Negro. Because they ain't never lived, lived amongst the Negro to go through the shit the Negro gone through. The Negro is the second fucking thing that comes close to God, okay? You fucking right, I said it. The Negro is the second fucking thing that comes closest to God because he's a fire, the shit, okay? That every, every fucking thing that, he was, that was thrown at him, he survived it. The Negro survived it, okay? and still exists on this goddamn planet, he survived, all right? Praise the Negro, all right? Praise the motherfucking Negro. Probably say this nigga crazy. No, I ain't crazy. Think about it. The Negro has survived every goddamn thing that was thrown at him, man-made or not. He survived it. No other motherfucking nationality would survive. Even other nations around this planet right now look at the Negro as some fucking inspiration when they going through some shit in their own goddamn country. All right? The Negro survived the goddamn tyranny under the white man. So that's why I say praise the Negro, because if the Negro or any other nation, any other nationality had to live and go through the shit as a Negro, he wouldn't survive. He'll end his fucking life in no time. He would take a, it's easy for him to take a gun and blow his goddamn brains out, okay? That's why I say praise the Negro. It don't matter how bad your ass is. Nigga, it don't matter how bad your ass is. What the fuck you doing right now? You dealing dope? If you taking whatever the fuck you doing, you survive. Your family survive whatever the fuck was thrown at them. Whether it's from living in poverty, from being experimented on, giving diseases and shit, your ass still survive, okay? That's why I say praise the Negro. Because everybody can't live as a Negro, okay? The Negro, the, the Negro's woman turned against them, okay? In this day and age, in, the, in, this, in this country in America, the Negro can't, can't defend on this woman to have this back. He's still surviving. 
That's why I say praise the Negro. Praise the fucking Negro, okay? Because if any other nationality had the highest incarceration rate as the Negro, they would take their fucking lives in prison left and right. They would, they would probably take their life before they even get incarcerated. If they know how many fucking years they'll be facing. Hmm? But the Negro is there, he's surviving. Fucked up, but yes, he's surviving. You can't, you cannot go through the shit the Negro has been through and come out without a goddamn scratch or imperfections. You ain't gonna be perfect. But the, per the thing about it is you fucking survived, okay? That's why I say praise the goddamn Negro, all right? Praise the Negro. If there was fucking extraterrestrials coming here, all right? And they knew the history of the Negro. Among any other history of the nationalities, they would say praise the fucking Negro, all right? These niggas have been through some shit no other nation has been through, okay? No other nationality, or better yet, no other ter extraterrestrial in the goddamn solar system been through. Okay? That's why I say praise the fucking Negro. Praise the Negro. We got some fucked up niggas in our, in, within our circle. Free radicals and shit like that. But that don't mean that the whole body is fucked up. We all have some free radicals within our body. But that don't mean the whole damn body is bad. You get rid of the free radicals. You know, the fucked up Negroes that's fucking up things for everybody else. The goddamn uh, uh, sociopaths and shit. All it takes is one fucking sociopath to bring down a nation, okay? All it takes is one. If that nation is good, you get a fucking sociopath in there, it's, it's gonna go down. It will fucking go down if you don't get rid of the goddamn free radical. But overall, the Negro come, is the second fucking thing that come close to God, okay? He's dependable. He's a fucking builder. You can throw any fucking thing at the Negro and he's going to survive it, okay? Just like you can basically throw any fucking thing at the damn sun before you can touch the sun, it will fucking burn, all right? If it don't burn, it has to burn at the same goddamn temperature of the sun to survive, all right? That's why I say praise the Negro. The Negro is the second fucking thing that come close to God. Remember that. The son and the Negro, all right? The son and the Negro, the two get along just fine. That's why we got this goddamn melanin in our skin, all right? The son and the Negro, hands down. Praise the Negro. And that's it for my video. Y'all be smart and be safe and take care of one another.